Hello Gemini, welcome to your love tarot reading. This one is for you and your person, whatever that means to you. It can be a, a relationship, situation, established marriage, bumble date, you know. Um, Gemini, uh, this is a general read, so take what applies to you and what doesn't. Get rid of it. Three of Pentacles, are you working on a relationship currently? Are you working uh, on something in love? Let's see. Um... Yeah, Gemini. Uh, so whatever resonates, take that. Uh, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Gemini, if you resonate with my videos and you vibe with my channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm a new channel. It really, really, really helps me out. Excuse me. It really, really helps me out. If you uh, have already, thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Um comment below as well and like my videos that is like a great thing you can do for me if uh if you don't want to it's okay too gemini i'll still love you let's see gemini what happened in your recent past what happened in gemini's recent past to make the situation so please tell me hmm hmm a lot of strong energy. I don't see anything super tragic, but um, all the drama usually comes out later in the read as well. Nine of Pentacles. <sighs> Actually, I do see something here. It's like... The Emperor. You're not the Emperor here, Gemini. You got the Emperor. Oh, Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck as well. Yeah, you felt... Okay, I see what happened here. <laughs> This is your person. This is the emperor. Disregard the gender. It's all arbitrary. It's just energies, right? Um, the emperor. You're in a relationship, situationship, or a love connection, whatever it is for you. Uh, whether it's fresh from, like, you met them last night or you've been together forever. Your, your person is the emperor. They're, they're very successful. They're a, a person in a position of power. It could be extremely powerful. I feel for some of you, it could be someone extremely, extremely powerful. Um, someone who hold, who could be, uh, have a lot of money, have a lot of power, even be into, like someone who's a community leader, maybe into politics, or they just like, you know, run a very important business or some, you know, they're just like, they're out there, you know, they're putting themselves out there. People respect this person a lot and uh, they respect themselves. And what happens in this love connection is there's like a, a beginning here. Uh, so for some of you, it's n relatively new. And for others of you, it's like, um, it's like you've, you've had a new beginning here with this person. It's like you maybe like I don't know renewed your vows or you just feel like you you maybe had a conversation about needing a new beginning because um, yeah if it's not a new relationship you you told your person basically you need a new beginning with them because you feel a little bit orphaned by them you feel very well protected by them nine of pentacles you're in the nine of pentacles here Gemini you feel like this person is really taking care of you, taking care of the relationship. You have whatever you want, but they're not emotionally there. They're neglecting you. You're like, you know, maybe they do a lot of travel for work. Maybe they're always at work. Maybe they're really busy. Um, I'm really getting like politician vibes for some of you people or someone who's into that kind of like, you know, doing something about politics, community, engagement, charity. I don't know. Uh, Nine of Pentacles here though. You're like, it's like, you feel almost like widowed, like, you know, you're like a widow or a widower um, because this person is always tending to other people or tending to their business or tending to their empire and not tending to you. And they built this beautiful garden for you and you can do whatever you want. It's like housewives vibes, you know, it's like it really is. Um, but you're like constantly waiting for them, wondering where, where they are. Maybe they're not good at communicating with you when they're away or when they're their work you just feel very you feel lonely in this relationship you feel abandoned by your person basically very interesting hmm or if it's a new relationship you you feel like that already you know like you feel like they're always busy you're wondering if they're gonna have time for you but they're kind of saying you know i want to have something stable with someone i want you know i want to take care of you this is like you know that kind of traditional dynamic vibes you know whatever your situation um 
is in terms of your preferences nine of wands fell out yeah so it's hard it's like hard for you but like you and your person you want to make it work though uh let's clarify the emperor a little bit let's see more about this person oh oh too many cards trying to come out okay yeah king of swords that your person king of swords your person is very analytical but they're very just they're not like um they're not like an F person, like, you know, like, they're not a player, they're not shady, someone who does things by the book. This is someone who won't lie, won't cheat, stuff like that, but they're just very, very busy. Maybe if it's a new dating situation, you're just, like, trying to arrange dates and stuff, and they're always, like, doing something, you know, that kind of thing, and you're wondering, like, well, do you really care, even care about me? Maybe you went on a date, and they, like, got you, like, a bunch of flowers or some elaborate gift, but they just aren't there, you know, like, present emotionally, and then they just ghost you for a little bit, because they have, like, they're busy at work. Yeah, four of swords. Yeah, you, you feel like you're always waiting. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how your person feels. Uh, okay. Let's see how your person feels about this situation right now. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> if, if, if you gave this person an ultimatum and said, like, you need to, you know, step it up, take, you know, pay me more attention, you're spending so much time at work, this person will do whatever you say, they're a little bit scared that some of this might be out, out of their hands here with the Wheel of Fortune, they feel like this uh, situation with you, this love is like a karmic connection, they feel like it was meant to be, you, soulmates kind of thing, Knight of Cups, they want to talk to you, they want to communicate with you, they want to send you offers and uh, communications of love, and they don't want to let you go, Four of Pentacles, they want to work on this, they want this to be concrete, but they don't want to let you go, they have a little bit of a fear here, if you would, with this Ace of Pentacles here, if that was about having a new beginning, or a new relationship, where you had like a bit of a conversation saying, hey, you need to pay me more attention, that person like, they like, they took this, you know, Four of Pentacles, they're like, they're a little defensive about it because they don't want to, they don't want to F it up and they don't want to lose you. And they do feel like, you know, they met you and it's like, there's a lot of stuff happening here that this person is scared that things might happen with you that that's outside of their control. It's like, this has happened before to them where they lost someone because of events outside of their control. And it could have been to do again with their work where they had to tend to something at work or it was like a super like very high profile important stuff at work and they lost someone for the same reason that they didn't pay them the attention that this person required and they're really really scared they, they don't want this to happen again they're going to work on it they want to communicate if you gave this person an ultimatum or something or you had words and you're not communicating at the moment they will communicate because they really want to uh, let's take a look at you right now. Okay, Gemini. <laughs> yeah, you're conflicted about this. You want to work on this. Eight of Pentacles. This person with the Wheel of Fortune here above. This is how they sit on my table. Uh, this person was concerned that you might, you know, change and kind of like roll away, you know, on the Wheels of Fortune. But you're, you're staying. You're here to stay. You want to work on this. You guys respect and like each other very much. But you're very conflicted, you know, seven of wands. You feel like you're always going to be kind of battling against this person's, you know, other commitments. There's always like some kind of a, some kind of a battle going on. Battle of wills, battle of time. This person might be getting defensive about, you know, how they um, allocate the, their time. Page of swords. And, you know, you're thinking about communicate. You, you're thinking also about communication, you might be spying on them a little bit, keeping tabs on this person, seeing what they're up to. That's okay. Okay, Gemini, let's see what your person's next action towards you will be. Gemini's person's next action towards them. Oh dear, this is so weird. Why? This doesn't make any sense. See, that's unexpected. Let's see. You got like the Nine of Swords and the five of swords i'm just gonna have to clarify that for you we also got the ace of cups so ultimately they're coming in with this offer of love i'm just gonna clarify this because i'm not sure if it's your person feeling hurt or yeah the em empress jumped out this is gonna be this is an empress relationship 
the emperor and the empress it's like you are their empress again disregard the gender it's arbitrary um can we please clarify the nine of swords is nice and like this person is fair but this person is gonna come in and let's clarify the ace of cups as well while we're here let's clarify the ace of cups hmm. okay this person is gonna come in with a lot they have a lot of things to say to you yeah four of swords at the bottom of the deck all swords it's all about taking time out stuff like that this person wants to communicate their love to you, but they're going to come in and I swear every single, whenever I ask, what is this person's next action going to be towards my, my uh, friends, you know, whether it's Gemini, I did a read for Scorpio, Cancer, um, it's all dr high drama. Like the feelings are there, Knight of Cups, you know, they want to hold on. The feelings are there. They, they want you. you they want to be with you. This is the emperor. It's a good person. This is a good person. But when I say what's going to happen between you like next, it's always drama because I don't know, Mercury retrograde. This person is going to come in with the nine of swords. <laughs> They're going to come in and just like lay into you like real thick or guilt trip you and say, how could you do this to me? And you got the five of swords here, massive fight. That's what it's going to be about. Why? How could you give me an ultimatum? How could you tell me that I need to spend more time with you? Like, I'm so freaked out by this situation. And they're going to actually, even though this person is the emperor and they see, and the king of swords, and they seem really mature. Sorry. Uh, uh, the cards are here. Uh, uh, even though th this person seems really mature emotionally, they're going to come in like a little kid. Like, so immature. It's all going to just, like, flow out of them. Like, how could you do this to me? And they're going to want to hurt you back. Because uh, they feel like you, by giving them some kind of an ultimatum or telling them they felt a certain way, it gave them a lot of, like, anxiety. And it's just going to come out. They don't even want to do it. And it could be, I, when I clarified the Nine of Swords, we got the Three of Cups. It could be that they have, like, you guys meet for a few drinks or something. Or they, you know, like, some kind of substance could be at play. Could be, They just have, like, one glass of wine too many. And they tell you a few uh, truths. But it's all going to be about, like, even if they lash out at you, just remember that it's because they're hurting. You hurt them because they have a lot of anxiety about losing you. You are their empress. This is, like, you know, beautiful. But, you know, uh, whenever you show any sign of displeasure, this person really hurts. They get in their head that they have so much anxiety. Five of swords. And it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be. But look, like, how weird. This spread is so weird. So then I clarified the five of swords. And we got the nine of swords again. That was the, that was the card we just got, like, a second ago. Nine of swords. And guess what the ace of cups is clarified by? <laughs> Eight of swords. Yeah depression feeling trapped not knowing what to do this is just like this person feels so much pressure on them this person is hurting so bad they're gonna come in they're not even know what they're they're not gonna know what they're saying you got the three of cups here and in this case it's like their tongue will get loose because they'll have like one drink too many i'm serious ace of cups or they'll just feel, you know, they'll just be in a situation where they, where they can talk, about, you know, like they'll just loosen up through something, some kind of substance or whatever. But they have love, like they're coming in talking about all this hurt because they love you and they're going to say that this love hurts basically and that you hurt them. Let's take a look at uh, further outcome here. Yeah, there's going to be lots more communication because you're going to try and work it out. You're going to try and make the communication together. Um, we got the lovers too. You're going to try and work it out here with the, um, when you guys have this conversation, it will be unpleasant, but you'll keep on communicating until it works and it will, it will be teamwork and it will be swift. And it's because you're choosing each other here with the lovers. You want to make the choice to be together and you want to make it work. You want to work it out. Uh, let's grab, uh, just a quick, uh, advice here for you gemini it all looks pretty good gemini i would just say <laughs> eight of swords fell out oh my god this is just warnings all around i think the warning here if anything you know gemini is 
don't take the bait. If someone, you, you know, if your person comes at you with an argument and you feel like, you know, they're being unfair or something, you know, like you shouldn't have said that, that's not fair, that's not how it went down. Uh, try not to aggress them too much because of Mercury retrograde because I just feel like I'm just getting, in these readings, I'm getting all these warnings about not, you know, not pushing each other's buttons because that just, some, there's some things you can't unsay, you know, but also we have to forgive each other and we have to be understanding because people do make mistakes. And sometimes people say the, the most horrific things that they don't really mean. Okay, these two fell out. We're just going to take those. Um, Queen of Cups and the Sun. Yeah, the Queen of Cups is all about love. It's all about um, the, the cup overflowing with love, understanding, sensitivity in this deck. It's sensitivity. And here we have the Sun, Angel of Happiness. Happiness is coming towards you. Be sensitive. Be understanding. I know this is kind of like not the best advice to give to someone always like oh yeah this person is going to really lay into you and you need to be the bigger person mm. i feel like usually people need to be told to be more assertive and to love themselves more but with the sun here you know angel of happiness things are going to become clear um you're coming into clarity you're coming into innocence uh your wish is fulfilled there's happiness here with this person and you, you it's because you're so sensitive and so understanding, Gemini. I feel like, you know, you hear like this Queen of Cups is you. You have so much love to give and so much understanding. So when they come in with their drama, don't get involved in the drama. Come at them with love and see what happens. Because you'll see that you'll end up then choosing each other in this uh, continued communication here with the uh, Knight of Swords. Uh, the Knight of Swords, yeah. You, you'll be two knights of swords together, basically. Two swords working together to communicate better and to make the situation better. So, yeah, don't um, don't meet them at a low vibration because they're really, really hurting. That's why they're going to be lashing out at you. Um, I hope that's helpful. Obviously, if someone's being abusive and horrific and rude, then you do need to walk away. But just bear that in mind. There's just a little bit of, a, of an advice here. Um, walk away from any abuse at all times. Uh, you know, I hope this helps a little bit, Gemini. Um, let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you and what happened with your situation. I would love to know. I wish love was easier. It is, it is not, <laughs> it is not, but mm, all my blessings and all my love to you, Gemini, hang in there. I'll see you next time and may the angels protect you.